Hello and welcome to learningengineer.com where we engineer learning for efficiency. Today I'm going to show you how to download, install, and use a very nifty little program called CD Burner XP, I believe it is. Um, basically what I do is I start out with a Google search, www.google.com, and type in CD Burner Pro Free, and then click Google Search and if we come over here you'll see it's the very first one CD burner XP so we're gonna click on that and now we're at the site which is CD burner XP dot SE and then if we come over here you'll see there's a link up here for downloads so we're gonna I guess we don't have to click on that we can just click on this right here download now and the file comes up and it's a save file so click save file and here it's downloading shouldn't take very long I just put a blank CD in the CD burner, so it this the autoplay thing came up. So I'm just going to click cancel, and it should be fairly quick here now. almost done and now I'm gonna double click here to run the program and this should, security warning should come up so we'll click run and what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna close out or minimize my browser so I'm gonna click next uh, accept the agreement and click next that's where it's gonna install I have an F drive uh, instead of a C drive so just ignore that um, I don't need all of these languages so I could uncheck the ones that I'm not really going to use just undo all of them click next it's gonna make a, a start menu folder for it and I want it uh, to also create a desktop icon. I'm not really a big fan of the quick launch, so I'm going to leave that blank. And I'm also going to associate ISO files with CD Burner XP. Click Next, and if final stop. And finally, I can actually launch CD Burner, and I do have a program or an ISO file. I mean, I want to burn this one right here. It's an Ubuntu. It's an ISO image, and an ISO image is simply um, it's an image of a CD-ROM drive stored into a file that almost any CD Burner can read and write to one, write to a CD or a DVD. So here we go, it's in. And I want to burn an ISO file to a disk. That's what I want to do. So now it should ask me uh, what the ISO file is that I want. So there it is. And it's on my desktop. And there it is, Ubuntu. And that's what I wanted to burn. Uh, everything looks good and all I should have to do is hit burn disk so that's what I'm gonna do uh, 
Um, this is going to take about three minutes. In the meantime, I am going to pause this so you don't have to wait for the whole three minutes like the download. Okay, now it's almost done burning, as you can see. So it should be done in just a second. And it should be done in just a second. <laughs> it should be done in a minute here. It's not closing the disc. Okay, it was completed and done. Okay, all right. And then that's it. We can just cancel this now. And we're back out. And you can see you can make data disks, audio disks. You can copy a disk and erase a disk. So I'm just going to click exit and exit that. And if you have any questions, you can contact me at michael.langdon at learningengineer.com. Have a good day.